what do we have here? Looks like it's a unique Oregon Red Band Trout. Oregon Red Band Trouts are the highest paying and best XP earning fish per pound on Falcon Lake in Oregon. And I'll show you where to catch Oregon Red Bands here on Falcon Lake in Oregon in Fishing Planet. Greetings and salutations guys, Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital and today we're going to do some fishing. I'm out here on uh, Falcon Lake in Oregon and today I'm going to try to fish for some Oregon Red Band Trout. Yes, the elusive Oregon, Oregon Red Bands, they are uh, unique to Oregon and this is my rig setup that I have. They're kind of rare to catch in, in Falcon Lake. You, you can catch them but not nearly as often as the rainbows, cutthroats and brown trout that are in here. So I have a uh, Nero 12 foot 10 inch float rod that I'm going to use with a Prima reel. Um, both of this, this rod, well the rod is a good one. The reel you can, is higher level. You guys can get by with something a little bit lower level. As long as it can handle about 8 pound test, both your rod and reel, you should be fine. Um, got some 0.5 pound braided line on my reel. Uh, you can get by with monofilament or floral as well. Got a one out hook, my X-Series float, and I also have artificial eggs uh, that we're going to try to fish here and see how well it does. So, with all that said, enough of me yammering, let's get right down to the fishing and see if we can get any Oregon Red Band Trout. So I spawned in here at Bridge of Logs, and I'm casting right now on the creek side of the bridge. There's two sides. There's this creek side, this little, like, stream side, and then there's the other side that opens up to the actual lake. We're going to start off here on the stream side, and I have a shiner on. Uh, I have had luck catching the Oregon Red Bands off of uh, small minnows. Um, but the best bait that I've, I've had the best luck on with them has been either artificial eggs. Um, the other one would be the natural eggs and spawn sacks. So if you guys can get any of those, if you guys have access to those kind of baits, it would probably be the best type of bait to fish for them. I'm just giving this a try right now with the shiner to see how well it works. And yeah, I've got to cast it out here in the stream. Now this stream actually... You will find cutthroat trout in here, sometimes rainbow trout, and Oregon red band trout. All three of them like to hang out in here. There we go, we got a fish on. All three of the trout like to hang out here, those three trout like to hang out here, and uh, it's just a matter of luck, kind of, as to which one you catch. And look at that, we got ourselves an Oregon red band off of a shiner here on the creek side. But uh, let me show you a better side I, I like. This is a good side to catch them, but there's a spot that I like a little bit better to catch these guys. So let's go there now. Actually, before we go ahead and get to that point, uh, that spot, I want to show you guys exactly why I consider these the best and best paying uh, fish on this, on this lake. They earn you the highest XP and the, and the highest amount of money per pound. Sure, they don't get very big. They're rather small. But if you compare them to other fish, like the rainbow trout, for example, here, you're getting more money per pound and you're getting a lot more XP per pound uh, for the Oregon Red Bands. So keep that in mind. Now, this is the spot where I've caught the most Oregon Red Bands at. You guys may recognize this spot from the previous video I did on uh, rainbow trout, float fishing for rainbow trout on this lake, and it's the it's the exact same spot. Um, looks like I'm getting a hit already. 
I've got the artificial salmon eggs on here, one odd hook, 45 inches down. And I don't know if it's just a, a matter of the time of day. Is this gonna take is this fish gonna take this or what? <laughs> got the artificial salmon eggs on there. It looks like it's hitting it. I yep, there we go. We got a fish on. Now I don't know if it's the time of day here. Or because I fish in the morning and that's normally when I catch them also uh, like right now it's an overcast day we'll see what kind of fish we get out of here and we did we got an Oregon red band all right I do like these fish a lot for the XP and the money that they give you per pound and yeah not a big fish but they uh, for their weight and size they yield you the most money in XP I believe per pound and uh, yeah per pound so we'll go ahead and cast back out there again now as i was trying to get out uh it's it's a matter of i don't know what factors yet apply to this but whether or not you're going to be catching red bands or rainbows over here i think it's just a matter of the time of day uh the temperature and whether it's cloudy overcast or bright and sunny outside because i have been out here and one day i'll catch oregon red bands consistently Looks like we got another hit going on here. I'll catch Oregon red bands consistently, but on the next day, I'll be catching rainbow trout consistently. So there might be some factors involved in that aspect regarding which type of fish you're going to catch in this spot. Now we got a fish on. Let's go ahead and bring this in, see what it is. Doesn't feel like a rainbow trout. Rainbows are a bit heavier. It does feel like it's an Oregon red band, which is exactly what I'm going for. There we go. A 1.2 pounder, $117 and 80 some XP for this thing. Let me tell you, these guys are great for money and XP. So if you guys did not watch my previous video on Falcon Lake on where I uh, showed you guys how to catch rainbows, trophy and unique, um, I'm at the same spot now for those who didn't see that video this spot is at bridge of logs and what I did is I just spawned in and I walked on the lake side on the right hand side and across from me is this little kind of indentation in the rocks out there is where I'm casting 45 inches deep right now with artificial salmon eggs. Not getting any hits yet. It's alright though, there is a ledge off in that area. Um, in my previous video I told you guys to cast about 75 to 85 feet out there I believe and that's exactly what we're doing today and we're starting to get a hit right now. Looks like it's taking it under. There we go. Fish on, fish on. It's a little guy, so it's most likely an Oregon Red Band, but that's all right. That's what I'm going for. I want that high XP and high cash value per pound for this fish. One pounder, $106. 80 some XP, great, great, great. We're gonna go ahead and put this guy on the stringer. Now I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and switch my bait up. Artificial salmon eggs work good, but something else that works just as good are the natural eggs. So I'm going to throw those on here and see if we can give these a go. Got one left, might as well get rid of it. Still at the same area on the map and we're still going for Oregon red bands. Haven't got a hit yet off the natural eggs, although it hasn't really been out there all that long. <laughs> and we're getting a hit now. Like to see that. Whether it'll be a rainbow or an Oregon red band, I don't know yet. Naturally, I'm not a uh, not a mind reader or a uh, crystal ball person. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> we got the uh, we got the natural eggs out there, and we are getting a hit off of it. Let's see if this thing will take it under completely. There we go. Oh yeah, that thing took it under. This might be a rainbow trout. Very possible it's a rainbow trout. The uh, Oregon red bands are a rather small fish, so they don't generally have too much fight in them. And, oh, it's a trophy Oregon red band trout. Look at that bad boy. Nice. That is what I like to see. Gonna go ahead and take some pictures of it, add it to my photo collection. 
Yeah. Nice fish. $189 and 155 XP from a fish that's not even two pounds. That one is going on the stringer and I'm out of bait. Time to switch to something else. Go to the inventory and I think I'm going to go ahead and give the small minnows one last go out here. I'm going to switch my bobber up to the chubby so it can withstand the weight. Now I noticed that uh, while I was in that inventory screen that I told you guys earlier, I think that I was fishing at 45 inches. And I noticed during the uh, inventory screen that I had it at 50 inches. So, I mean, that that's uh, my mistake there. But yeah, the range would be about 40 to 50, maybe 55 for these Oregon Red Band. I've caught them at all, all, uh, all three of those different depths. And it looks like we got a hit. Wow, off the off the small minnows. Gonna bring it in in this one. I don't know, hard to tell at this point. Might be a rainbow trout? Probably not. Nope, it's another one of our Oregon red bands. Man, they just keep coming out here today. $129, not bad, not bad. Take a look at that XP. For such a small fish, what a deal gonna go ahead and put him on the stringer a little bit later cast it back out there still the same area guys not moving away from here today the Oregon red band fishing is just fantastic over here on this particular day so I'm gonna keep it up until I can't catch me no more we got one on this feels like a nice size fish maybe yeah, this might be a rainbow trout. Very possible it's a rainbow trout. I just caught a trophy not too long ago, Oregon Red Band. Oh, and look at that. It is a trophy, Oregon Red Band trout. Another one. Wow. Let's, let's look at what we got here, folks. $245, 201 XP for a fish that is not even two and a half pounds. You're not gonna find XP like that anywhere else on this lake. What a deal. These pictures are going into my photo album. Really love these Oregon red bands. All right, guys, I think that's a, I think that's a great place to end this episode. So you guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. If you're a newcomer and wanna stay up to date on future content, please subscribe. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.